The crowd came out to see all the stars of the 38th Vermont Governor's Cup. The governor himself out to defend last week's win. And then, of course, he had company. There's Kyle Busch, set the race for the first time at the nation's site of excitement in Barrie. Busch started in the 13th spot, said before the race it would be tough to get acclimated to the track. Early on, Busch having a little trouble getting going. On lap 20, the governor running in the ninth place, but it's Kyle Busch who runs into trouble. Goes skidding across the infield. He would be able to continue and move on. On the restart, Quebec's Jonathan Bouvet would take charge and would continue to lead until lap 99. That's where the governor wipes out on the bank on turn one. That would end Scott's night early on his own night. He does not get to defend last week's win. Kyle Busch battles all the way back to sixth, but then he tangles up with Ricky Roberts. Busch goes into the wall, ends up facing the wrong way, and that is also the end of his night. So the top two people are gone. That would open the door, though, for some big names like South Burlington's Trampus Demers. He would hold off Bobby Therrien to win his first Vermont Governor's Cup. Marcel Gravel takes third. I didn't know when we came back out after we pitted that I was going to be able to get back up through there. I was 12th, and I, you know, Kyle Bush was out there. He was gaining a track position and knowledge of the track, and then uh, uh, the five car. But, you know, the car came alive, and everything worked out the way it's supposed to for us. So I'm really, really happy about getting a Governor's Cup. Kyle did a really good job tonight. It's unfortunate what happened to us. We had a fast race car at the end. He got here and we really weren't that close. He wasn't happy with the race car. Uh, he's a true professional, did a really good job, great guy to work with. Wish we could have got him a better finish.